Uh, Rocket League, hello? Where's my menu? <laughs> what the heck is going on? Oh, okay. Oh, great. Well, welcome to the Road to SSL series. We're on episode number 13 for today. And the last episode, I believe we almost reached... What is happening? This is my main account. Okay, I'm back, apparently. Um, like I said, as I was saying, um, we're at Diamond 2 Division 3 in 3v3. So I'm going to put back on 2v2 here and play in both ranks. We're getting pretty close to the similar rank here with Champ 1 Division 2. It's basically at the very, very bottom end of Champ. So we're going to see how this goes with both uh, being selected once again. But before we do that, we have to do the meme of the day. And today we have Jamaican Coconut, a pretty simple one. But if you want to read this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it on the screen. You can pause it. Too much haterade for me. Let's get into the episode. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, we have Johnny Sins and Ed Boo against me and Danky. Interesting names. Got some flips forward. This is 2v2 once again, so we're in uh, we're in champ now. I'm going to go towards this ball first. He ends up taking my boost, which is totally fine. I can uh, sit here first. My teammate's still not pulling back yet, so I'm just going to wait for the shot to come forward. And now I can go around the ball and bring it to the corner. Now be careful with the, uh, the mid flips. That should have been a goal right there. I don't know why Danky brought that into, into mid. He really shouldn't have uh, cut off the ball like that. Oh, wait a minute here. This guy is very, like, very, very speedy. I see this guy coming up to the ball. I'm going to back off. Now, I see this ball is also in a spot where I can follow this off the backboard. And you see, I didn't, I didn't air roll on that one. But the more that you get used to air rolling, the better. Got to be a little bit careful with this touch. I'm going to pop it up nice and high. Johnny might stay on this ball. Give my teammate to rotate in here. That's a decent shot from them. I'm going to wait for Johnny to go on this ball. Because it's not going to be on target yet. So now I can go for a read and pop it and clear it. I'll stay with this here. Pop it up. Ooh, good follow-up. I can't follow this up yet, um, but now it should be open. And once again, you see Danky was trying to make a touch there. It's just him doing way too much. He's trying to do way more than he needs to. That was a great outplay, and this touch would have ruined the play if he hit it. It probably would have went into the corner or off the backboard into an awkward spot. Meanwhile, if he just used his reverse cam, he could have looked and noticed that there was nobody really on that ball. Yeah, he's trying to play in positions where he can't really follow it up. I know I can attack that pretty early in the corner. There, he should have held possession, too. I, I'm not trying to rip into this guy's positioning and decision-making too much. But um, he's definitely being a little too aggressive, too rushed on his touches. That's a great challenge there. Good demo. Close. I'm going to take a look to my right. I see Johnny Sins is taking his time. Coming up to the ball here. I'm going to try and rush for this boost. Maybe even grab this corner boost. I can get behind Danky again. This ball should be his. He should be able to rotate right on this ball. Great decision to go on the ball instead of getting the back corner boost. Awkward play here. Good pinch across. I can get a soft touch to bring it to the wall. And then I can try and stay with this ball here. I'm just trying to stay close to the ball. Good clear, but Danky should be on this first, hopefully. He's a little bit hesitant to turn on that ball. He probably could have uh, rotated um, to go for the ball or completely decided to go backwards. And obviously, my touch didn't keep possession. You can see Danky's just being a little too reserved. And once he sees that the other player is up, that's when he decides he try tried to go. That's the last time you... That's actually the moment you don't want to go anymore. Got to watch out for Johnny's clear here. He does it making a mistouch, but in doing so, Ed is on it. I'm looking at Johnny right here, see if he's going. Oh. He's being bumped. Get a big clear. Get the boost as well. I'm going to push up a little bit. Looks like Danky wants to go for a push. The guy left the boost for him. Good try on the bump. Good demo. I'm going to grab the corner and then just stay close to the ball here. Try and bump this guy. Can bump him again. Decent clear. I'm trying to beat this guy to the aerial. I'm trying to make sure I, I, I read when he's going for that. It looks like he was comfortable going for the ball at that point. Decent read. I can push up to this. I can definitely beat this guy if he's going to rush it. It's not going to be on target yet, but at least I got the win on that ball, and I can just move behind my teammate. So Ed's going to probably make a missed touch here. He does. Looks like Tank Danky wants to stay on it, though. And now with this touch, I can try to make a soft touch to stay close to this. Try to force some sort of 50-50. Good demo from my teammate, too. It should give me time to read this ball and get the open goal. So right there, I know that I outplayed one player by putting it around him right there. So I knew already on that touch, Johnny was out of the game. And with the demo being uh, like happening, it means I know that he can't respawn and come back to me uh, within like a good like two to three seconds. I'm gonna grab this corner boost. Wait behind my teammate here. Big miss. Dank's trying to stay on it, but at that point he probably should just back out. I, I'm looking at Johnny right now. I'm seeing that he's um, in a position where he can't really um, he can't really make a good touch unless I hit it directly towards him. And there's my teammate to finish. So, yes, I know where the ball is going on that touch. I see my teammate cut, cut me off, um, which is totally fine because he outplays Johnny. And then if I commit there, then it's bad because we're both out of the game. Um, but I'm just playing patiently. 
See if he goes for the shot here. He ends up just completely bailing. I can make sure this touch is a little soft. A little dangerous though the way I touch that. Oh, big panic for my teammate. That's okay though. I'm gonna try and uh, go for the corner boost. Try to secure it. And stay close here on the ball. Good bump from them. Do my teammate to push up on this. Very clear. Oh, open. Great save from uh, Ed Boo there. Good try. I think he could have probably uh, waited on the flip. See, I'm waiting patiently for the clears. I just have space on that ball. Playing the panic. They're panicking again. See if uh, my team wants to go for the shot. Great shot. Great save, though. I hear uh, and see Ed Boo up there. But once again, he's trying to follow us up. We'll see what he does with this. Just being patient. See, if I went, if I try to turn on that and commit, I'm going to be outplayed. Oh, that's just a dunk. I think I might just be in. Yeah. Not the greatest uh, approach from the opponent. And with, with the way that I'm approaching this ball, I'm trying to approach it between where he's going towards the ball and the goal. I don't know I, I don't know why I said but ball and goal. I just mean like he's trying to angle that ball towards the goal. If he played it a little bit differently where he tried to push the ball around me, I wouldn't have gotten that dunk and it wouldn't have been on target. I definitely played a little bit too fast that game, but honestly, I felt like it was just more like um, my teammate was playing faster than I felt comfortable playing around him. So I was picking up the pace a little bit, but obviously I was playing a little too aggressive. What I did well that game and why it went so so one-sided was probably all of the positions where um, they didn't expect to cut off and then the other opponent tries to cover for his teammate who was outplayed and it's just a double outplay because the one player is out of the game. Oh. Interesting. Not sure why we didn't commit there. He definitely should just commit on that ball because uh, his teammate is out of the, the game and he has to force some sort of 50-50. I can't go for the corner boost yet. You can see I already have 50 boost off that play. I should be challenging this. That's a great touch from them. Try to get in the way in some sort of fashion. Oh, great clear. Great finish as well. That was a great backwards uh, play off the backboard. You see, we get like a wide range of players with their abilities. And you're going to you're gonna notice in, in champ, every game is going to feel quite different just based on what people are able to do. And this is why I said like champ and grand champ is probably like some of the harder uh, ranks to read in the game. Because of the fact that everyone's kind of uh, all over the place, sporadic with, with their abilities. Holy, what a read. This guy's going to beat me here. So I'm just trying to get the boost in mid. That way he can't secure it. And now I can cut it off. Wait behind my teammate. This ball's going to bounce decently for him. Great read. This is a chance for me to go. Oh, I see my teammate. The second, the second my teammate uh, shows up on my screen, I see that's a little dangerous. Um... I end up changing the, the, the decision making there because I, I could have made uh, an attempt on that ball, but with my teammate being forward, um, it immediately changes my decision making to be a little safer. Good challenge for my teammate. He's gonna grab that mid boost and then, or that corner boost, and then probably push it mid. I'm just gonna wait in mid here, see what he does. Great finish. We went a little bit early on the uh, the challenge, and uh, end up getting outplayed by the extra touch there. But once you see the player under the ball or behind the ball like this, he can't get really much more of a lift on the ball. So you can challenge a little bit later to push the ball and force it into the corner. I'm going to get my mid boost taken from my teammate and the back corner from uh, Wee Woo. So I'm just going to get the back corner instead. You see he's playing faster than everybody else. Uh, on the other team. I'm going to try and demo this guy. And get behind my teammate. It shouldn't be too dangerous in this corner here. Good 50. Should my teammate to maybe follow this up? I'm going to wait in mid here. See what happens. A little scary if I go for this, but I'm just going to make a beat if I can. Good try for my teammate. I see that he's like kind of rotating behind me. He's actually pre-jumping this. This guy might be a smurf, actually. This might be the most obvious smurf so far, in my opinion. Yeah, I don't know. I can't tell. He's definitely much faster than the opponents. Playing faster than me in this game. Take the shot, he's saying. Okay. Yeah, I have a feeling this guy's actually a smurf. Maybe like GC level. He exactly could be on this. I'm going to be a little patient. I'm just going to wait here. See what he does with this extra touch. There we go. Behind, get behind Wee Woo here. He's backing off the ball. Decent follow-up. At the back corner. This ball's bouncing a little awkwardly in mid. It could be an outplay from Wee Wee, but he ends up back flipping off the ball. Push on this ball instead. 
Decent 50. Could be a finish. Good demo from Wii U, though. Okay, this is going to be him again here. I'm just going to wait for his extra touch. Now he let go of the ball. I know that at that point, he can't really do anything with the ball without flipping. Good challenge. Age should be on this. He ends up uh, faking. Good play. Good control on the side. I think he got the boost too, so he should be able to stay on this ball. He ends up passing it across. I'll try and flip this around him. I pop up the wall. That, that let go of possession though, so I'm just going to get behind my teammate. We should challenge this in just a second. Oh. Good challenge. I'll push up for, for this ball here. Hit the corner boost. Good chip off the wall. It should be uh, Noah's washed first. Might be an outplay. I'm just going to back off. One thing I just like, these constant back, these constant fakes into the challenges, they make it really hard for the opponent to get involved in the ball. You see that bad, that touch, that's a bad touch there because it goes in the mid. That's going to be awkward. Let's see if they're making a shot off this. Close, good try. Could be open. Good save from age. You see these misreads and stuff like that, these touches off the wall are going to be bad because they give the opponent a shot chance. I can challenge this now because it's off the ball. It should be age first. You can see, once again, this 50-50 off the wall, it gives my teammate the opportunity because he's the one following it up. Yeah, either this guy's like a very mechanical champ or I think he's definitely smurfing in some, some sort of way. I think that he is probably... Probably GC. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think he was definitely higher level than champ one. Uh, you guys let me know, though. You guys, know, like, if you guys are in champ and you see players like this, let me know if you guys are aware of these kind of players being smurfs. I think he was probably a little bit higher rank that he's, uh, than he's showing here. All right, I got an FB on my team against Type Jason and Ace Hayes. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to win this ball here. I got bumped off my, uh, by my teammate, but I'm going to let my teammate get the back corner boost. I could challenge that early, but it's going to be probably pretty safe if my teammate just makes a touch. Good follow up. I'll be careful of the shot. It's a pretty tough read, but it's going to roll down the wall. So I'm going to try and get, get in the way of it as it comes down. This guy let go of possession. I'm going to try and challenge. Good try in the clear. It's going to be a little dangerous, though. I don't think he has a goal here, though. Good try in the, the catch. Nice. Should be Neff here. Decent try. I would have liked either a pass or a shot that's a little bit more dangerous. This is a dangerous ball to go for because it's going to bounce back in a mid. Might be a shot here. Try and get in the way in some 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 way. I can stay close to this ball. Try and catch the, the dribble. I'm off the backboard. Good try for my teammate. Try and backflip it. I'll get out and see if my teammate can get involved. Good 50. I like the, the, the way that he 50 that because it keeps him in line with the ball. That's a dangerous 50, but hopefully I can get back. I can stay with this ball. I'm going to try and pass this right if he gets close. I don't think he's like really following it, though. Ends up backing off, which is smart. He wasn't close enough. Honestly, he should have been able to move up with me. But he wants to be a little bit reserved, which is totally fine. So next time, I'll probably make a solo play, knowing the fact that my teammate likes to position like that. I'm going to challenge in a second for my teammate. Should be him to challenge immediately. There we go. I'll wait in net for Ace Haze. I got to clear. And the way that I clear that to the left gives me a lot of time on this ball. Good save. The delay worked pretty well. It made him panic a little bit. Get behind my teammate here. Ends up popping it backwards. Looks like he might follow this. That double's a little dangerous. Oh. Good save. Got put in a little bit of an awkward situation there. I could have challenged a little bit earlier. Now, this is interesting that he ends up passing there because he doesn't like to be in that position. So, I always think that, like, usually I like to play the way that I would expect myself to play. I see a big clear coming. I'm going to try and go backboard here. Big miss, but that's okay. Not super dangerous. I keep making those wall reads with a front flip, and I never do that normally. It's really hard to, like, properly... Or not properly, improperly do things. Okay, decent touch. I can stay with this ball. Go for a shot. Saved, but that should be my teammate. Good demo. I kind of cut him off, but that's okay. I 
think Neff might go off the ceiling here. Oh, I like this. Good play. It's going to be Jason, though, first. Good challenge. It's a really good pinch. But I'll take this across because there's nobody here, and I get the, the full boost. And I'm just going to stay close to the ball. Let's see my teammate wants it, though. Good shot. The big clear. I'm going to try and do a touch where it keeps it soft against the wall, and I can rush this. Focusing on the boost here. Good turn for my teammate. I see him rushing, so I'm just going to challenge it. Now, Hayes is a little awkward here, but I think he might be able to get 50 with my teammate. I'm just trying to read what's going to happen here. Might be having a 1v1 solo dribble. I'm hoping the opponent doesn't come to try and chase me. That's a good touch. I can take this across the wall. He might challenge us on the ceiling, but he's not going to. I'm trying to do a delayed touch off the wall to give us good possession. Neff should have the ball here. He's a little awkward. I have a chance to clear it on the field. Honestly, the better thing there to do, though, is... Um, I was off the backboard, but nobody's here. The better thing to do there is try to uh, keep keep the bounce into a safe spot. So I can uh, take it down the field. Now, my teammate should have saw me on the, uh, the right side of the field in their corner. So midfield pass isn't the best option there. Good 50. I should be able to stay on this or make him panic or something. Try to flip into the ball and the boost. I'm going to challenge for my teammate. Good try. Big flicks. Might be Jason. Should be my teammate first. A little awkward, but I'm going to try and maybe space out the opponent. Make, make a demo or something. Good try on the shot. Ends up backflipping it. See if he goes on this again. Totally fine. I'm going to try and stay close here. Just make him throw the ball away. Ooh. Okay. I thought my teammate would maybe move backwards. I'm trying to get a clear off of the side wall. Should be a follow for my teammate. It'll be really dangerous if he doesn't follow this up, though. Okay. Big miss from them. Good try. Big clear on the field. See if they panic. Do my teammate here. See how he's in a better position, but he still backflips. Totally fine. I left that for my teammate, though, because he was in a spot where the backward read is a lot easier with the momentum he has versus what I have. Big clear from Neff. Should be good. I like the demo here. It's good. Backboard. He's panicking. It's a great touch from them. I'm trying to demo the other guy, though. Okay, I'm last man for a second. Big flicks. I'm trying to touch this into a spot where it's safe off the wall. You can see I'm like trying to make a touch that's not too dangerous. That lets me get back pretty quickly. This needs to be Neff here. Decent clear, but they're going to be up on this. If he gets this, he can have it, man. That's a great shot. Close. Get it clear. Totally fine, though. Now I have space on this ball. Even though he makes a clear cross. Shouldn't be too dangerous for us. Makes a touch here. Should be Neff first. The other guy backed off. He could have waited for the the uh, the, ha the uh, half volley too. Hopefully, hoping he gets a demo here. Nice demo. Great play. I just double jump this towards the net. Try to get a demo on this guy if I can. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. Sure. Woo! Close. Nice demo. Ah! Let him go for this touch. Make a pop. TV panics. Great control. Good pop, but I can't quite go on this because Hayes is going to have a shot. And I can try to backflip this over to uh, Neff's side. I saw that he got the mid boost. And hopefully, he's take this corner as well. Good try on the demo. Let me try to follow this. That was a good try on the recovery. Uh oh. Don't get outplayed, Neff. Good play. I like that fake. I gotta go backboard here because it's rolling up the wall and you can try to catch this. Whoa! The decent read from them. It's gonna be into the corner. A good bump attempt, but I need him to come back and hopefully recover something here. I can challenge this. Cause like I challenged. Going to the corner, I can't really score this yet. Well, I could probably if I did like a really tight angle. Trying to stay in the corner, do something with the ball. Obviously, a shot there, I would have been an open net. I don't want to be the one to score this. I don't think, at least not with an open net pass for my teammate. It's a pretty competitive game, and everyone's working really hard to get this goal. I hit this high backboard and see what they do with this. It looks like there's a teammate going backward to clear it. That's a great pass middle. I'm going for a shot here. Top corner. Great pass. 
That's a great touch to uh, swing it in the mid uh, off this pinch right here. The half volley. That's actually really, really underrated how good that pass is. But great play. Honestly, I feel bad for them because that was like they worked really hard for some of the, the goal opportunities. They just didn't get them on target. I think they definitely could have uh, won a couple times where there was some awkward plays in mid. They just didn't get the finish. A great game there. I mean, that was a great overtime. I think that um, Neff played pretty well. It was, he was a little bit reserved in certain spots where I was trying to make passes in mid. But like I said, once I saw that, I was playing the, the offense a little differently to where I would try to go for solo plays that weren't like over over committed. And that way I can get behind Neff who wants to rotate in for those 1v1 opportunities. And for the final game, we got 3v3. We got CM Corp with uh, Agent Brownie versus I'm Bad, but I too. He's two years old? Daking DCs? I don't know what this... Yeah, and then Conan, 69. These are interesting names. I'm going to sit behind my teammate here. Okay, I could go for this. I probably should have went for it. I was a little bit too reserved. I should have this in the corner. Now, keep in mind, we are in diamond now, so it's a little bit slower. Very clear from Agent Brownie. But also, 3v3 is a different beast. I hit this off the sidewall and see if my teammate wants to follow us. Maybe go for a bump or, or something. Very clear. Great save. I was going to cut on that. Oops. I just bumped my teammate. I was going to cut on that. Um, but it looked like he was going to beat me and both my teammates just committed. Go for a shot down the field. And it's just in. I think the uh, opponent thought that my teammate was going to make a touch here. Because CM Corp was on the right side jumping at it. Um, but he just panicked. Yeah, it looked like CM Corp maybe confused uh, Conan a little bit. couple weird moments in this game already. It's We're only 40 seconds in. Nobody's going for the kickoff. Good try. Timmy maybe wants to go for this. That's a great aerial. Good save to the corner. That's smart where he placed that. Put to a safe spot. Now I'm, I'm first to this ball because he's still landing. So I'm just going to go for a big clear. And I see that, that Conan probably has this ball first. Let's see what he does with the ball first. Now I can go on this. That's fine if my teammate wants it. Because I could I could rotate forward and if I trust my teammates and go for a boost deal, go for a bump. Um, you never know what they want to do. Yeah, I'm last here for a second. Good save for my teammate. Stalled out there pretty good. I stay close to this ball. See what um, looks like Daking's going to come in here. Not the best clear, but it looks like my teammate should be able to get there. Awkward bounce. Big clear. This should be my teammate. I'm going to move behind him so that way he knows he can go. And a great bump from CM Corp as well. That was a great position there to go for a bump. When the, it was a little dangerous of Agent to push up on this because it is last man. And you see I'm bad, but I'm 12 or I, I too. I don't know. I don't know what his name is. Um, he was kind of pushing up on that, but he was a little bit late. Visually, it looked a little bit deceptive whether he could win that or not, but he decided to go for it. And then me rotating back is not the most dangerous thing. We clear off the side. I, I should follow this if my teammate can't get it. Once again, just waiting to see what they do. Decent challenge in the corner. That's towards target. Can he get it? Good save. Waiting a minute, but this isn't a great ball to go on yet. As you can see, something can really go wrong pretty quickly. Big miss. Oh. He's out of here. I'm not sure what happened. Because he was kind of like the, the lowest performing player in the lobby. Oh. Well, I think this game's over. <laughs> um, we got two goals up. But I mean, my teammates played pretty well on the one, on the one goal. And uh, I scored the one off of the... Yeah. Okay. This game's this game's over. I don't know if they're gonna forfeit. Agent Brownie's playing pretty good though. That was a great dribble. I scored the one opportunity off of um off of a mistake on the on the back end there. But I don't know. Three v three is an interesting uh, solo queue experience. I'm not I'm not gonna play another one. That even though it was a short game, I think that's that's gonna be it for today. Um, obviously, if you want to watch the making of the meme of the day, it was a pretty easy one. Um, we do those at the end of the episode now, uh, even though you saw it earlier on. You can see how I make them. This one was a simple one. Um, but either way, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Catch you in the next one. All right, we have this photo from AI, thanks to Danny, from the Blender video. And we have this hat. Pretty simple idea. I think we're going to put this on top of the coconut and call it a day. Let's grab the hat.
Maybe I can bring this down and then we put this on top. So now it's like a full, a full size and we try to extend this image. Apply. Okay, perfect. We bring the hat back. I mean, that might be the most lowest effort uh, meme of the day, but I think it's great. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video as well. Like I said, I'm putting these at the end of the video now. So if you want to check out how I make these, pretty simple. I mean, this one was an AI uh, generated image, but some of them are a little more complicated. Peace.